Dear students, I welcome you all to this microprocessor tutorial series. In this video, we will learn about the RIM instruction and in our upcoming video, we will learn about the SIM instruction. So what is the full form of RIM? RIM stands for Read Interrupt Max. That means whatever be the interrupt that is maxed. Maxed meaning it is disabled. So let me write down here. Masking means it is disabling. Disabling means we are just covering something. Suppose we are wearing a face mask. That means we are covering our face. Other person are not able to see our face. In the case of microprocessor also, when you mark some interrupts, that means that interrupt will be disabled. Using this read interrupt marks, we will know the various status of the interrupts. So here we will see basically three interrupts that is the RST 7.5, RST 6.5 and RST 5.5. Here I have shown a 8-bit data. Suppose from D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. So in the case of read interrupt marks, what will happen? The lower order 3 bits here, these 3 bits, this one, three, these 3 bits, this will be having the max interrupts so let me write down first this is 7.5 this is 6.5 and this is for 5.5 this is the rst 7.5 rst 6.5 and rst 5.5 so these are the max interrupts okay so let me write down here this is the max of interrupts so when this interrupt will be max that will be dependent on these bits so if this value is one if equal to one that means this is interrupt is max max means it is disabled that means whenever we have suppose one zero zero that means rst 7.5 is disabled other are enabled so whenever we have one value here that will represent that that interrupt is maxed max means it is disabled okay next we have the ie here ie means so let me write down here d3 bit will represent the ie ie means interrupt enable so what will be the function if this is equal to, if this interrupt enable equal to one whatever be the interrupt here depending on the max that interrupt will be functioning and if this equal to zero then this is disabled zero means disable one means enable at this interrupt enable bit so this is the third bit okay next we have d4 so at d4 we will be having a uh, interrupt six until 5.5 here we'll be having interrupt 6.5 and i 7.5 so what is the meaning of this three interrupt whenever we have one value in any of these interrupts suppose in some cases all of this interrupt may be having one value all of these bits having one value that means the interrupt is pending if let me write down here if these values equal to one that means that interrupt is equal to pending that means interrupt is not acknowledged this is the meaning of these three bits and the most significant bit that is d7 it will represent sid it will represent sid sid means it is the serial input data so whatever be the data that is serially input that will be reflected here after going through this instruction all the status values suppose it may be having 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 suppose this is the content of this interrupt status signals so after going through this instruction this data will be written into the accumulator so after having the bits in the accumulator then we can easily understand which interrupt is pending which interrupt is enabled or not if there is a max interrupt or not so from that we can easily understand so suppose for this example only let me tell you this most significant bit this will represent the SID SID means it is the serially input data so you need not to bother about this next we have this one is the this three bits represents the interrupt which is pending that means this one was for the RST 7.5 this one is for RST 6.5 this is for RST 5.5 so what we understand from here that RST 
the second one this one rs this one is pending because this this bit is one therefore we can write rs 6.5 is pending so after reading the interrupt status we can understand that the restart or the rs 7.5 interrupt is pending next we have this one value one value means it is the interrupt enable signal so if value if this value is one that means interrupt is enable that means it is interrupt is enable next we have these are the three bits this three bit will represent which interrupt is max so from here we can say that the interrupt 5.5 .5 is maxed why i am writing here 5.5 .5? because the least significant bit is one here if this one was one then what will happen the interrupt 6.5 is maxed if this value has been one then we could have said that the interrupt 7.5 is maxed so in this way you have to understand that in the case of rim instruction what will happen this rim instruction is used to read the status of the interrupts that is 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 and the serial data input bits okay so we have seen about this rim instruction this instruction loads the pending interrupts as well as the interrupt marks as well as the restart interrupt marks and the contents of this serial input data into the accumulator so after going through this instruction this data will be written into the accumulator okay this is all about the rim instruction in 8085 in our upcoming video we will see about the sim instruction that is the set interrupt max instruction thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you